going on guys welcome back commentary for you if you're keeping track at home if you count the members only post we're going on day two or day three if you don't you're going on day four or five if you count the couples channel i think you're going on day 12. chantal has not been this off the internet since initially she went to kuwait youtube put her in timeout it's the only other times but it doesn't mean that she's not busy because she sat here and told us that Salah has this lucrative brand. And that's what I want to focus on because by now we've all seen the Reddit post. But I wanted to go a little bit further because when you look at this image, right, this is not, in my opinion, a professionally done image to sell a product. You've got a makeup bag in the background. You've got a background that is not complete. You have one product that's not even fully visible. This is not how you stage something as a promotion. And to that point, with this brand, there's a lot of things that don't make sense. Number one, Chantal has an audience. Like it or not, thousands of people, tens of thousands really watch her each week. She's got at least 90,000 subscribers. Yes, I understand that some of those channels are no longer active, but still, it's a number. It draws people. You also have a ton of members. Chantal has always wanted to promote a brand. If you go back to the water bottle that didn't last very long, if you go back to her nonstop means of wanting to have some type of clothing, remember the knitted hats, she's always tried to promote something, but never really did that something solely impact her. So with this Beezer branding, if you will, Sala's fragrance does actually matter to her. Because number one, from the outside, if this is her fiancé, she would want him to do as good as possible with his business, even if she doesn't have any type of financial reason for that to be. She would just want her partner to be successful as possible and leverage everything she could to make that happen. Now, secondarily, if you take into account that perhaps she is financially involved in this company, then she has even more reason for it to do well. Now, you can set aside the fact they don't do international shipping that doesn't account for the fact that for months and months and months, we have not seen one step of the supply chain of this business. We've not seen a warehouse. We've not seen a box. We've not seen inventory. We've not seen a review. And in a community that's known to go well out of its way to get their hands on anything, I find it extremely interesting that not one person has been able to procure a single bottle of these fragrances, despite, I'm sure, trying. So one of the most intriguing things to me is this Beezer scent, okay, which is basically at the forefront of this image. Now, what I find interesting is before this image here, we'd only seen Beezer a couple times. We'd seen Beezer in her stream where she promoted it. We'd seen Beezer on Sala's computer desk, and we'd seen Beezer by the Quran in their bedroom. What is most interesting about that image of it on his computer desk is the candle in which it is beside. Because initially, Beezer was one of the biggest aspects Chantel used for us to understand that Sala was running a genuine business, loved her, and would do anything for her because this was one of her largest receipts. She was using this scent to show us that he was willing to do anything for her because he loved her and that he made a Beezer scent just for her that used her two favorite scents, rose and vanilla, which is why it was so important. It was positioned by this candle to show the connection between Beezer and those scents. Now, when we've talked about Beezer as a scent, it doesn't make any sense. A regular person is not going to equate Beezer to anything. The only thing you could assume someone could draw a connection to would be perhaps Bee, Beezer, maybe it smells like honey. There's nothing, there's nothing that says Beezer would smell like a flower, would smell like vanilla. Which is why it's even more intriguing to me when you look at this since-deleted Reddit post everyone's talked about, is that when you go over the scents... Beezer smells flowery. Why is there not any notation of the secondary scent? Blue Magic smells sweet, like a blue slushy. Armano, which must be the bottle we can't see, it smells nice. Think about the words that are used to describe. Nice, 
sweet. When we go to the Winter Nights, basic. These are not words that are commonly used to describe scents. We learn that Winter Nights basic equates to lemon, with Armano nice corresponds to musky. They go on and say that these perfumes are the equivalent to an incense, a candle, or Febreze, three things that are very much different. I mean, incense, candles have different uses. Febreze is actually a deodorizer in most cases. It may have a scent, but its primary focus is not to make something smell good, but actually help encapsulate odors and remove them. So when you say that you can spray these products on furniture, on clothing, on anything, keep in mind, anything, not any of those types of products are used in those same fashion. No one says, yes, spray Febreze on anything. Use this incense on anything. Burn this candle on anything. It's such a simplistic way to show things. It's such a basic way to try to sell something. And it really doesn't make any sense because it doesn't help the application of the product. If anything, I would say these are more like room mists. You spray them in the room. They make the room smell good for a short period of time. Then you reapply it to the room by spraying it in the air. If a little gets on you, not a big deal. But there's really no product that basically says, spray this on anything, anywhere, anytime, and let it smell nice. Let it smell basic. And to me, that's why when you look at this branding, something isn't lining up. Because if you run down the line, it doesn't make sense in how they're promoting it. It doesn't make sense in how they're not captivating her audience and trying to capture sales from them. It certainly doesn't make sense with the way they stage these photos. It absolutely doesn't make sense in how they define the sense or even how they say the product should be used. And you would think as defined as Chantal has been that all she would want to do is show everyone how we're wrong. Most of her content centers around proving us wrong. Salah does love me. She is married. They are happy. Yet the fragrance company has never drawn the center of that attention of, no, this is a real business. All we have is a WhatsApp, a couple stage photos, and some random bottles floating around their home. I hate to break it to you. Any one of us could go get a couple empty bottles, run down to a printer, get some labels produced, throw them on a bottle, pour some water in, add some food coloring for all we know, and say, hey, here's products that I'm selling, and here's what they're designed to do. But until you can actually show products getting in someone's hand, until you can actually have someone review these products, it's meaningless. It's a facade. And that's what so many people have called out. And things like this actually make it worse when we analyze what's going on. Things like this actually create more questions than they do answers. Why is the bees are sent even in here? Why is its label different from all the other bottles? Why was it even produced if it was only meant to be for her? And why is it the focal point of this image? It's almost as if Chantal set this up to show that this is the products they have, omitted the fact that she really shouldn't be promoting this scent, but couldn't get beyond her own willingness to prove everyone wrong and practically put it at the center of a photo. It doesn't make any sense. It's never made any sense. And honestly, the more we see, the less sense it makes. It's almost as if there is no common sense when it comes to these scents. And the fact that everything got deleted makes it even more likely that Chantal was the one behind this all along. Love to know your thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. And you know, I know I said yesterday I'd be back just like Foodie would today, and there's still time left. The day is young, but I will be back as soon as I can with more commentary.